teaching me right from wrong and what is true. I love my mom. She chose life. God formed my innermost being, shaping and delicate inside, and my intricate outside, and he wove them all together in my mother's womb. Psalm 139, verse 13. She is clothed with strength and dignity, and she laughs without fear in the future. When she speaks, her words are wise, and she gives instructions with kindness. She carefully watches everything in her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children stand and bless her. Her husband praises her. Many women have done excellently, but she surpasses them all. Charm is deceptive and beauty does not last, but a woman who fears the Lord will be greatly praised. Honor her for all that she has done and let her works bring her praise at the city. You shall be known from the beauty that comes from within, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is so precious to God. 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 4. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love. For I put my trust in you. Show me the way I must go. For I entrust you with my life. Go. Love is patient, love is kind, love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. Love does not demand its own way, it does not dishonor others, it is not self seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of being wronged, love does not rejoice with injustice. But love rejoices the truth. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves through every circumstance. Love endures. These three remain. Faith, hope, and love, but the greatest is love. On your father and your mother, as the Lord God commanded you, that your days may be long, and that it may go well with you, in the land that the Lord your God has given you. Deuteronomy 5.16 Be kind to one another, tender-hearted. Love one another, forgiving one another, just as God through Christ has forgiven you. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32 My child, obey your father's godly instruction and follow your mother's life-giving teaching. Fill your heart with their advice and let your life be shaped by what they've taught you. Their wisdom will guide you wherever you go and keep you from bringing harm to yourself. Their instruction will whisper to you at every sunrise and direct you through a brand new day. Dedicate your children to God and point them in the way that they should go and the values that they've learned from you will be with them for life. Proverbs 22, 6. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. Psalm 